In the latest updates from E Days of Our Lives, on June 24, several dramatic events unfolded in Salem. Ava Vitali received unsettling news from Harris Michaels, signaling trouble for their relationship due to her association with Clyde Weston. Harris's pursuit of Meghan Hathaway further strained their bond, leaving Ava feeling abandoned. Before departing, they shared a poignant moment. Meanwhile, E.J. DeMera confessed a revelation to Nicole, implicating her in a past incident with Eric Brady. The fallout from Tate and Holly's prom night escapade caused Teresa Donovan to confront Nicole, escalating tensions at the DeMera estate. Elsewhere, Xander Cook and Nicole clashed anew, resurrecting old animosities. As Salem's drama unfolds, viewers await the repercussions and new developments in this compelling soap opera saga. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives Monday, June 24 Update Harris bids Ava farewell, Nicole ejects Teresa, Megan Hathaway clue. According to the Monday, June 24 spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Ava Vitali will receive some news from Harris Michaels that doesn't give her much optimism for their future together. Ava is aware that their relationship is unstable because of her defection to Clyde Weston in Montana. Harris would advise them to address their trust issues gradually if they hope to make this work. They unfortunately don't have much time because Harris will make it known that he is following up on a lead regarding Meghan Hathaway's whereabouts. Harris intends to pursue Meghan, which will make Ava feel as though he's deserting her and that they should call it quits. Day's teasers, however, indicate that before he leaves, Ava and Harris will make one final bed. Steve Burton will get the chance to say a moving farewell to the character of Harris Michaels. Fans of Days of Our Lives can anticipate an admission from E.J. DeMera to Nicole DeMera at the DeMera home. Nicole might become too suspicious of what E.J. is hiding after a near miss, thus this could be a perfect method for him to reveal something other than Jude Brady's paternity, dubbed Jude DeMera. Regardless of the situation, E.J. will admit that he saw Nicole when she drunkenly kissed Eric Brady. Nicole would try to justify herself, but E.J. will likely argue that everything is just about getting Jude back in their lives. Day's teasers state that Tate Black and Holly Jonas will both face consequences at the Salem Inn for skipping prom in order to spend time alone. Teresa Donovan will take Holly home and begin pointing fingers after she and Brady Black lash out at the teenagers for their story of forbidden love. Teresa will accuse Nicole of being at fault after disclosing that she saw Holly and Tate together in a hotel room, most likely for relaxing her prom ban and generally setting a poor example. Nicole is going to lose it and give Teresa no choice but to leave before she gets kicked out. In the end, EJ might have to step in as referee to keep this yelling war from turning into a fight. More mother-daughter turmoil is expected when Nicole grounds Holly indefinitely after Teresa departs, according to our day's forecasts. Keep checking back for more on Tate's punishment because spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that he will be in serious trouble after the prom night incident as well. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Xander and Nicole's acrimonious confrontation, old rivals have a fresh cause to quarrel. According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, Xander Cook will consider his past and eventually talk to Sarah Horton. On June 26, Sarah will raise some questions and get Xander talking about his relationship with Victor Kiriakis before he passed away. Fans of Days will remember that the relationship was very acrimonious at times. Due in part to his lengthy criminal record and his numerous instances of terrible behavior throughout the years, Xander wasn't truly treated like a respectable member of the Kiriakis family. Even if Xander's life finally turned around, he will always regret the emotional distance he felt from Victor and be angry that there is nothing he can do about it now. Of course, Xander is unaware of another aspect of this whole situation. Given that he bequeathed half of his riches to Xander in his will, 
Victor clearly desired to put things right as well. Teresa Donovan is to fault for fooling Xander about that, but she's not the one Xander will be feuding within days of our live's June 27th episode. Day's spoilers indicate that Nicole DiMera will face Xander in place of the original character, but why will they be fighting? It's no secret that Nicole doesn't think the world of Xander. In addition to helping to derail Nicole's marriage to Eric Brady, Xander was on multiple occasions on the verge of bringing about her terrible fate. This could present a chance to review some of Xander's prior sins, like the time he held Nicole in a cage back in Greece or tried to burn her up in a furnace with Eric before that. That said, there'll have to be a new reason for Nicole and Xander to face off. If Nicole is able to publish something behind Xander's back that he doesn't approve of, it might be as easy as a news article in The Spectator. Nicole might easily present some article that casts Xander in a negative way. Nicole may, for instance, give the impression that Xander got away with committing a different offense during the Constantine Meliunis controversy. Whatever the case, we'll be providing you with additional days' predictions as Xander and Nicole draw closer to their big showdown. According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, Nicole and Xander will be in some difficult sequences, so stay tuned for updates on all the drama. Days of Our Lives Carson Boatman, what did you do? It wasn't fun, but... Many of us have summer jobs that we'll never forget when we look back over the years, and Carson Boatman from Days of Our Lives, well, he has one that's rather unforgettable. The actor said that pollinating corn was his favorite summer task when Soap Opera Digest asked. Yes, you read correctly, pollinating corn. When Boatman started working for Pioneer, a corporation that creates, distributes, and sells hybrid seed corn in more than 70 countries, he was a junior in high school. He said they would bus us out to these cornfields at about 6 in the morning. We would walk the rows and assist them in pollinating the corn from roughly 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You won't believe how far the employees went to make this happen. According to Boatman, we would take paper bags, place them on top of one strand of corn, and let it sit so that the pollen collected in the bags. Once a week had passed, they would return to the same field, take out all the paper bags, find a new field, and repeat the procedure. He went on, it would cross-pollinate and create hybrid corn. It wasn't fun at the time, but I look back at it fondly. Which summer jobs were your favorites? Please feel free to share them with us in the comment box, we'd love to hear about them. Days of Our Lives Weekly Spoilers Video Preview, Gobby's Return, A Crisis, and A Prom Night Drama There will be a lot of drama this coming week in Salem. Gabby reappears in Salem at last, but is she going to hear good or bad news? As for Days of Our Lives spoilers, the prom night develops into a dramatic clash between two unexpected characters, and Leo gets even with his mean mother. In addition, Chanel's situation takes a catastrophic turn. This is a preview of your day's video for the week of June 24, 2024 to 28, 2024. Mothers engage in conflict. Teresa exclaims, Ah, uh. <laughs> as she and Brady storm into the Salem Inn and discover Tate and Holly there. What a waste of the alone time the young couple had planned to spend together. Things boil up when Teresa and Brady bring Holly home to the DeMera estate a short while later. Teresa yells at Nicole and EJ, I just caught Tate and Holly hooking up in a hotel room. She then goes a step further and assigns Nicole full responsibility for everything. Teresa, you are to blame for everything, she continues, gesturing at Holly's mother. Nicole will not tolerate that for even a moment. She yells back, get out of my house before I have you thrown out. Taking on demons. Leo confronts his patronizing mother Diana when she is incarcerated. Diana, though, won't accept it. Diana passionately insists, it is not your fault that you are the way you are. Leo asks, what do you mean by that, mother, looking puzzled? 
calling for justice. Stefan keeps putting pressure on EJ to save his dear friend Gabby from the slammer. Stefan says, get the evidence and get Gabby out of jail. Actress Sherry Jimenez makes her screen debut as Stefan later visits Gabby at Statesville. When left alone, the long-divorced couple has a passionate kiss. Infant Crisis Tragedy strikes during a party honoring Chanel and Johnny's relocation to Los Angeles. A pregnant Chanel screams in agony, clutching her tummy. Johnny and Paulina hurried her to the hospital. Chanel says, I'm really, really scared, while she and her spouse are alone in a room. Soon after, Abe shows there and asks Paulina the question that everyone is curious to know, is the baby okay? It will be up to the audience to tune in to find out. The romantic conclusion of prom night for Teresa and Alex is revealed in the preview for Days of Our Lives. For some couples, prom night doesn't go as planned. Days of Our Lives spoilers for the June 24, 2024 episode hint at a surprise couple's romantic prom night conclusion. Scenes in Salem Weeks revelations hint at what happens when Teresa and Brady discover Holly and Tate having an extramarital affair at the Salem Inn. Images show Brady bringing Tate home and attempting to have a conversation with his kid, but it appears that only ends up in a fight in front of Eric and Marlena. Teresa will accompany Holly home in the interim, but it appears like Nicole becomes angrier at Teresa than her daughter, interfering with Nicole and EJ's romantic evening with ice cream and kisses. Alex will speak with Maggie across Salem once he determines it's time to pop the question to Teresa. Photos hint that he will pop the question and put the ring on her finger when she returns home from the excitement of the prom. Regarding Eric, it seems he will have a conversation with Marlena that leaves him thinking outside the bar. Soap opera comings and goings, recast debuts, one returns, three leading men leave. This week in soap operas, a leading man departs, another reappears, and a recast premieres. Which four daytime dramas, General Hospital, The Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives, and The Bold and the Beautiful, have the most recent casting changes? Casting call for June 24, 2024 week. Find out which actors and actresses from the past you love are coming back to your favorite series, which newcomers have been cast in day player, contract, or recurring parts, and which stars are scheduled to leave the show. The Restless and the Young One of the most volatile characters on the program has left. Trevor St. John, who played Tucker McCall on The Young and the Restless, has announced his departure from the show. As you well know, Tuckers come and Tuckers go, and so the cycle continues, this Tucker is in his go phase, the actor wrote on his ex account after sharing the news. I want to express my gratitude to CBS or Sony, the amazing cast, the crew, the directors, the producers, and the production team for an amazing experience from start to finish. I consider myself really lucky to have had such a wonderful part. Above all, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all of the YNR fans. I'm grateful. In 2022, St. John began performing as Tucker. Stephen Nichols and William Russ both played the role in the past. On Monday, June 24, Christopher Cousins returns to the role of Alan Loran. He'll have scenes with Tracy Abbott, played by Beth Maitland. On Wednesday, June 26, Jess Walton will be returning for another video conference. She'll converse with Billy, played by Jason Thompson. Back on screen as Mamie Johnson is Veronica Red. She will talk about Chancellor Winter's business with Nate from Sean Dominic, Devin from Brighton James, and Lily from Crystal Khalil. Days in Our Lives Days of Our Lives is over. On Thursday, June 27, Sherry Jimenez finally makes her Gabby Hernandez debut. To pay a visit to his wife who is confined, look for Brandon Barisha's Stefan. Banshee, The Newsroom, and Pretty Little Liars are just a few of Jimenez's credits. She takes over for Camila Banis, 
who portrayed Gabby between 2010 and 2023. Two of the show's leading men are departing in the meantime. On Monday, June 24, Steve Burton plays Harris Michaels for the last time before he leaves Salem. The actor shares his last moments with Tamara Braun's Ava on General Hospital. He has now returned to his role as Jason Morgan. Additionally, Brian Dottillo ends his most recent tenure as Lucas Horton. His persona will bid a tearful farewell to Kate, the TV mother played by Lauren Coslow, on Tuesday, June 25th, before traveling to Arizona to visit his children and grandchildren. On Tuesday, June 25th, Judith Chapman will reprise her role as Diana Colville. Leo will spend a single day seeing his mother in prison during this guest stint. Kennedy Garcia reappears in the role of Felicity. On Tuesday, June 25, she will appear opposite Johnny and Chanel. The Brazen and the Lovely Matthew Atkinson is finally back at the Bold and the Beautiful as Thomas Forrester after abruptly ending his relationship with Annika Noel's Hope and moving to Paris in March of last year. After making a surprise appearance last Friday, the character is ready for a fresh plot. Returning as Douglas, the son of Thomas and Hope, is Henry Joseph Samory. On Monday, June 24 and Tuesday, June 25, he will air once more. The long-absent Diamond White has returned to the canvas as Paris Buckingham in the meantime. On June 24, a Monday, she will be back. Will Spencer, the recently aged son of Don Diamond's Bill and Heather Tom's Katie, has been cast as Crew Morrow, the real-life son of Joshua Morrow, who plays Nicholas on The Young and the Restless. This month, Morrow started filming and will make his debut on August 1st. Finnegan George played Will's last role from 2018 to 2020. Jim Belushi's daughter Jameson has been cast in the role of April. On Monday, at July 15, the lab tech makes her on-screen debut in sequences alongside Finn, played by Tanner Novlin, and Lee, played by Naomi Matsuda, two of the serial opera's resident doctors. Among the actress's credits are appearances in six episodes of According to Jim, her father's sitcom. Clint Howard keeps playing Tom. Monday, June 24, Wednesday, June 26, Thursday, June 27, and Friday, June 28 are when the character appears on television. It's Hollis Chambers, back as Hollis. Thursday, June 27 and Friday, June 28 are when I.L. Giardino Waiter airs. Main Medical Facility A child from General Hospital has been recast and given an age increase. Bailey, the endearing daughter of Maxie, Kirsten Storms, is now played by twins Riley and Miley Plonsky. The children debuted a week ago. Taking over as Jack Brennan, Charles Measure returns on Tuesday, June 25th. The former WSB director and Laura Wright's Carly Spencer will once more appear on film together. On Thursday, June 27, Asher Antonison reprises his role as Danny Morgan. Watch for the adolescent to engage with Jason, played by Steve Burton on TV. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.